Jewish representative of Albania. Please, the floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Chair, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. First, I congratulate the Polish Chairpersonship for warmly welcoming us to the beautiful city of Lodz. More importantly, Albania commends the Polish Chairpersonship for leading our organization in a firm and principled manner at a time when it was tested like never before. This ministerial council comes at the most difficult time for the security of our region and the OSCE due to Russia's ongoing war of aggression against Ukraine in flagrant violation of the UN Charter, the final Helsinki Act, the Charter of Paris, and other principles and commitments. Albania has condemned and continues to condemn Russia's illegal acts in the strongest terms. We fully support Ukraine's independence, sovereignty, and territorial integrity, and its right to choose its own future. Albania backs the international mechanisms in pursuit of accountability and justice for Russia's crimes in Ukraine, including here in the OSCE and in the UN Security Council. We will stand in solidarity with the people and the government of Ukraine for as long as it will take. Madam Chair, colleagues, what's happening in Ukraine has sent shockwaves across all OSCE dimensions. By blocking consensus, Russia has sought also to weaken the OSCE from within and to deprive it of valuable instruments. The way our organization responds will define its present and future. A genuine renewed dialogue on European security was indeed needed for enhancing military transparency, confidence, and risk reduction amid growing tensions at the outset of this year. It is hence regretful that Russia did not use this opportunity to ease tensions, but chose instead to wage a bloody war against its peaceful neighbor. In the meantime, transnational threats, terrorism, and organized crime in the OSC also continue to claim lives and put a heavy burden on livelihoods and our economies. Recalling the Tirana Ministerial Council Declaration on Strengthening Cooperation in Countering Transnational Organized Crime, we must rely on continuity if we are to be effective. We value the OSCE's economic and environmental activities, including on the nexus between climate change and security. The topics of energy and food security in particular have once again become prominent, and combating corruption and promoting good governance remain relevant as ever. As a promoter of gender equality and women's empowerment both at home and abroad, Albania strongly values the role of the OSCE in implementing the Women, Peace and Security Agenda. We must do more to promote women's economic empowerment, women in leadership and in decision-making processes both in normal and emergency times. For Albania, taking stock also of our past, full respect for human rights and promoting tolerance and non-discrimination are paramount. Moreover, we should also keep up OSC's engagement with our Mediterranean and Asian partners. Albania remains firmly committed to peace, stability, prosperity, and cooperation in our neighborhood, the Western Balkans. Our region has experienced immense progress in the last decades. We should, however, not take this progress for granted. Old problems have shown the ability to come up with newfound force, conjuring up the ghosts of the old politics of the Balkans. True peace and reconciliation in our region goes through justice and accountability. And we must be clear-eyed against attempts and influences aimed at stirring tension and conflict, advancing democratic processes, the rule of law, and European Union integration, which is an aspiration embraced by all six countries in the region, is an added assurance against troubles. Madam Chair, colleagues, the OSC executive structures are a steadfast contributor to our comprehensive security and able to make a difference on the ground. Yet again, the Secretariat, the institutions, and the field operations have shown their value and resilience, and we should give them, without further delay, the means, the resources, and the ability to implement their mandates. We have created the institutions to safeguard our principles and commitments, and we should enable them to do their job. We still believe that the OSC has a crucial and unique role to play for our peace, security, dialogue, and confidence. We can do great work where others cannot or will not venture. And we very much hope that the 50th anniversary of the final Helsinki Act in 2025, our organization will turn an important corner toward greater security, stability, dialogue, and effectiveness. But now, respect for our principles and commitments must be restored, and we must make every effort to that end. This principled approach will continue to guide Albania's work here in the OSCE at the UN Security Council and throughout the international arena. And in doing so, we will build also on Albania's work as chair of the OSCE back in 2020, including the achievements of Tirana Ministerial Council. 
We wish very good luck to our good neighbor, North Macedonia, in leading our organization next year. Certainly, chairing the OSC in 2023 promises to be yet another challenging task, but you can rest assured of our full support. I thank you. Thank you. I now pass the floor to the next speaker on my list, which is the